the tongue is back. And today, I got a beer review for you. We're going to be looking at Americana Fest Ale by Yazoo Brewing Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, Yazoo is not one of my favorite Nashville breweries. Um, they brew kind of good beer. They don't really brew great beer. Um, they've gotten better over the years. They're starting to come out with some better beers. Um, but anyways, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I'm not, I have not been able to find much information on this beer. I've heard, um, I've heard that it is a smoked beer, and I've also heard that it's an IPA. So I don't know if it's a smoked beer, if it's an IPA. Is it a smoked IPA? I'm not sure. Um, I want to say that the... Um, ABV on this is 6%, but I'm not 100% on that. Like I said, I couldn't find hardly anything on this beer at all. They don't even have this on their website. It's like a one, it was like a one time uh, beer that they made for the American Music Association, I guess for like the awards and stuff. But it says here on the bottle Born and raised in Nashville, Americana Fest is a medium bodied, authentic mixture of a handcrafted and heartfelt notes, just like Americana music. The Americana Music Association advocates for the authentic voice of American roots music around the world. Yeah, so even there, it doesn't really say much about the beer at all. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get this into a glass. got a nice color to it tell you that much if I'm not mistaken I can smell it from here very hazy definitely an unfiltered beer um, I love a good unfiltered beer let's see uh, got Decent amounts of carbonation. It's not like a whole lot, but it's definitely got some carbonation. Definitely very hazy. Probably a hop haze. It's got a good two finger, slightly off white head there. Let's get the aroma on this. Okay, that definitely smells like an IPA right off the bat. Very kind of citrusy. Not really smelling much of a smokiness. Not as far as like other, like some of the smoked beers that I've had are very like in your face. This one's not. So if it is a smoked beer, it's really not a whole. You're getting a little bit of breadiness from the malt. Definitely get uh, more of a citrusy, uh, fruity notes from the hops. Dive in. Cheers. Wow, that's different. A little different. So you get, I actually am getting a little bit of that smokiness from the, um, excuse me, smokiness from the malts. It actually tastes more like a roasted malt, more so than a smoked malt. It's almost like a, um, it's like a toasted bread. It tastes kind of, it has like a toasted bread kind of um, flavor to it. Pretty good malty wise. It's got a it's got a uh, it's got that nice um uh roastiness. Almost almost kind of like a um a porter or a stout in the in the roastiness, but not nearly as strong. Um and then it's got a nice backbone of uh IPA of a uh, of hops. It's definitely more citrusy than it is piney. 
you get a little bit of pineiness from the malts, but mostly you get uh, some citrus notes. You get a little bit of fruit notes from it. It's actually pretty darn tasty. Get a little bit of a sweetness there, kind of. And the bitterness, the bitterness in this one is like kind of a, it's, it's definitely kind of a biting bitterness in like the back of the throat, back of the mouth. It just kind of lingers there. It's not like overpowering bitterness, but it just kind of lingers there. This one is, I'm actually really surprised at how good this is. Like I, I'm liking this quite a bit. It's got a nice mouth feel to it. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. And it's definitely, this is definitely kind of a bold beer. In that it's not quite what you would, it, it, not knowing exactly what style this is or even kind of what it, it's supposed to be like. It's kind of hard to define this one. If it, it, It's kind of like, it's definitely got, it's definitely an IPA in that it's got that IPA kind of hoppiness. But it's also got like a real maltiness to it. But not quite like an American pale ale. It's got a little bit more backbone to it. And that hoppiness, that bitterness, it's kind of, it's not overwhelming, but it definitely just lingers right in the, right on the back of your tongue. It just, it just stays there. It just kind of lingers. This one's actually pretty darn tasty. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Yazoo uh, beer. A lot of their beers are kind of just, they're okay. They're not great. They're not bad, but they're not great. Um... But this one, I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, I've, a couple of the other ones that I've had of theirs that are like the one-offs, like their, uh, the Bell's Bend Preservation, and even the Yazoo Sioux, which isn't a one-off. It's just a high-gravity um, uh, smoked beer. I mean, those are pretty good. And, and this one is also really good. Um, I, I'm liking this quite a bit. I'm going to... I'm going to be confident and say I'm going to probably give this one a 9. I I mean this one is really good. It's it's different. It's it's got a little bit of the roastiness and and maybe some smokiness. I wouldn't really call it smokiness, but it's definitely more of like a roasted malt. It's it's unfiltered. It's got a nice mouth feel. It's got a a hop. It, it's definitely got an IPA kind of feel to it. Um nice and hoppy but not too much. Definitely. Um this was uh, Americana Fest Ale by Yazoo Brewing Company. Thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you in the next video.